Imperial Metals is holding their AGM today in this building and we're here to let them know that Clackwood Sound is no place for an open pit copper mine. Clackwood Sound is a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. It's one of the sites of the last large temperate rainforest in the world and uh, this mine would seriously damage that ecology for a long time. The house at First Nations is living in poverty. They have really high rates of unemployment and that's wrong. Uh, two, but two wrongs don't make a right and so to get jobs for one or at most two generations and then be left with a 1200 year toxic legacy, I think a house that deserves better than that. Clackwood Sound is known as the site of the emerging conservation economy so there are lots of other ways to make money in Clackwood Sound. I think one of the real problems here is the provincial government has failed to follow through on their decision to protect Clackwood Sound. They've never come up with any funding to help with a uh, economic transition and I think that's where the problem lies. Nowadays it's more and more common for corporations to have social and environmental responsibility and so we're hoping that some of these shareholders will, will see that Clackwood Sound is no place for an open pit copper mine. It's a shaky investment. It's not a good place to, to try to put a copper mine. It's a very contentious area and it's globally ecologically significant. Imperial Metals has been uh, doing test sampling in preparation to put an open pit copper mine in the heart of Clackwood Sound at Cat Face Mountain. For everyone who loves Clackwood Sound, uh, an open pit copper mine in the middle of Clackwood Sound would be the death of that place. And there is no way they should have been handing out exploration permits for the most polluting form of mining known in the, in the heart of a biosphere reserve. Uh, that government, our government, Premier Campbell's government has a lot to answer for for this one. If a government gives you a permit uh, to look for a mine, I think a reasonable person would think that that same government is not above giving you a permit to make a mine. So uh, we're on the slippery slope uh, to poisoning Clackwood Sound. And what we're saying, what we're here today is say let's get off that slope, let's make it very clear to the <laughs> to the investors, to the mine owner, the company owners, there is no way citizens are going to sit still while uh, the likes of these guys build an open pit copper mine in Clackwood Sound. Decades of work has gone into making Clackwood Sound an internationally known biosphere reserve. Clackwood Sound has seen millions upon millions of visits from people all around the world going there to experience firsthand the First Nations culture, the pristine environment, the wildlife, the ancient forests. I've got to have faith that that huge community that loves Clackwood Sound will not allow an open pit copper mine to land in the middle of it. The way forward is not to poison the sound. The way forward is to work together, to share together, to look at the non-polluting industries that are there and growing, such as tourism, so this is a potential for a revitalized fishing industry and work on those, work for the long term, work for a beautiful, livable place uh, where, pe where, where we share the wealth. I am originally from a house it. I don't think we should mine up there. Sacred uh, territory. And I still think to this day it is, you know, it's all our lands are sacred. So I'm just here to be one of the people to support the cause. So I know there is a lot of need for work and a lot of housing and that, but it's... I just don't see it being this way. I think they should try and find something else. Are you... I'd just like to say thanks everybody for coming out today and showing your support. Uh, it's, it's good to see this many people and to see that a lot of people are opposed to this idea of putting a mine in Clackwood Sound. It's totally crazy. Uh, it would be insane to blow the top off that mountain and put a mine in within sight of Tofino. The House of First Nations are looking for economic betterment and I think we need to remember that that is a valid need, but they deserve better than this. There's got to be a better way for them to make a living than destroying a mountain that's three kilometers from the village. Uh, the mountain is covered in temperate rainforest. There are wild salmon streams on the mountain. It's habitat for bear, cougar, and there are whales at the base of it. Most British Columbians do not know that up in this tower, there are people uh, scheming to see a way to put an open pit copper mine in the middle of Clackwood Sound. But as of today, more and more people are going to say no. 
are going to know what's going on and going to say no. And to those people, I say, get on your emails, get on your phones, phone the Premier, write the Premier, email the Premier, ask him, why are you allowing uh, exploration permits to drill into Clackwood Sound in preparation for an open pit copper mine? That is absolutely crazy. People across this province, across this country, love that place. It is an example of sustainable living, of First Nations culture, of what communities across this country want to become. And to see a company like this move in there with an open pit copper mine is like snuffing out the dreams of communities right across this nation. Thanks for being here. Let's keep it up until that copper mine goes away. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Are you here for the Imperial Metals AGM? Nope. I'm here to attend the AGM. I purchased two shares so that I could legitimately attend the AGM and make my point of view known. Done anything like this before? Protests? Um, <laughs> or attended AGM? No, I haven't done uh, done that specifically. I've certainly uh, made my point of view known uh, to politicians when I felt it was necessary. And uh, I've, um, yeah, like my point of view is always for the environment. There is no more polluting, destructive kind of mine that could land in Clackwood Sound than an open pit copper mine. So we're talking to the two governments and to the people represented by those governments. We have municipal, First Nations, uh, provincial, federal, they are democracies. It matters what the people think. And uh, that's why the Wilderness Committee is and, and the Friends of Clackwood and so many people are standing strong. The power comes from the people in this part of the world. I'm here to protest uh, open pit copper mine or any mine in Clackwatt Sound because I've fished there for 30 years off the beaches of Catface and there's salmon there in the way of smolts, resident salmon and migrating salmon most of the year. Uh, I was there two weeks ago and the whole channel in front of Catface had migrating spring salmon. Uh, there's coho salmon now and spring salmon and they will forage and feed until they move out to the adjacent rivers or they will migrate to other areas. The place is so important, it's so fragile and it produces an environment that holds all types of feed for salmon, needlefish, herring, shrimp and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a treasure for salmon. And, uh, if uh, this copper mine conti continues to fruition, you just have to look at examples like the copper mine on the Solom River uh, that produced a very little amount of revenue and destroyed millions and millions of dollars worth of Canadians' wild salmon. I read my statement where I said that it's not a good idea to have the uh, catface mine happen in Clackwood Sound for all the reasons like UNESCO Biosphere Reserve and all of that and referred back to be to Mears Island and and the war in the woods so that they would see that it was an environmental hotspot. They know that there's objections to it. They're planning to change the name of the Catface Mine to Chitapi, which is, is a small um, name that, that is around Catface. So that's part of their program obviously to mitigate uh, reaction to mining in Clackwood Sound.